So probability of compound events. This is what we've been talking about, that the probability of the event A or the event B happening is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B. Oops, what should this be? This shouldn't be plus. This should be, yeah, very good. This should be minus the probability of both things happening, right? And we talked about in class the probability of getting a five, right, of getting a five or a heart. We said there's four ways to get a five, 13 ways to get hearts, but there's a five of hearts, so that would come out, wouldn't it? So here, all we're going to do here is, what is this? Anybody know? Fill in the blanks. Because look, if you do that, then you'll get to just one thing. The probability of A or B is 0.5, isn't it? So from this piece right here, I'm just going to put 0.5. The probability of B is 0.4. The prob I'm sorry, the probability of A is 0.4. The probability of B is 0.35, isn't it? And then it gives us, and then we say minus, because they're, they didn't give us A and B, did they? And B. So we add those two things together, don't we? We get 0.5 is equal to, what is this, 0 0.75? 0 0.75 minus the probability of A and B. So something's obvious here, isn't it? What's obvious here? What's obvious here? What's the relationship between these two events? Are they mutually exclusive events, yes or no? No, it's, it's easier to see it with the card problem, but here we know that the probability of the two events don't add up to the total probability here, does it? So something else must be possible, right? There's an overlap here, isn't there? So what are we going to do to find the probability of A and B? Yeah. Well, what we're trying to figure out is this piece over here, isn't it? So why don't we move this piece out? So we could add negative 0.75. I hear you saying subtract, but you're either way. And what is 0.5 minus 0.75? It's negative 0.25. What's the problem with that? You can't have a negative probability, but look at this right here. This is negative also, so neg so right? So what can we do with this negative and this negative? They cancel out. If you wanted to know how I did that, I would multiply by negative 1. So this, this, right? See if that doesn't work. So the probability of, of A and B is what? 0.25. Let's see if it works. Go back to our original problem and put in, what's the probability of A and B? 0.25, right? Point 0.75 minus 0.25 equals 0.50. Check. All right? On all the problems, that's what you should be doing. We're going to get to these word problems, and every time you should just fill in the blanks. Start with A, probability of A or B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B. How could it be A and B? I don't know. I could say in this classroom, how many people are wearing brown shoes? And how many people are wearing tennis shoes? What's the possibility here? I guess it's possible you could have brown tennis shoes, in which case you'd fit into both groups, wouldn't you? And you don't want to count that twice, right? So the way you don't count it twice is that you, you add it both times and then you subtract it out once. Yep. Because look at this. That's a great question. So how do we know when something's mutually exclusive? So we have our deck of cards, right? We just did this problem. And what's the probability of getting a 7 or a jack? So it would be the probability of getting a 7 plus the probability of getting a jack minus the probability of getting a 7 and a jack. Remember, we're just getting one card, right? So what's the probability of getting a 7? 
4 out of 52. What's the probability of getting a jack? 4 out of 52. Right? And what's the probability of getting a 7 and a, I'm sorry, what's the probability of getting a 7 and a jack? You can't. So if this side, if the left-hand side and the right-hand side don't add up to the same number, then this number here, that means there has to be an overlap and the things are not mutually exclusive. Does that make any sense? All right, let's try another one.